I think young men and women over here in the UK have been emotionally drawn to these kind of uh, conflicts because of an injustice being done to a nation. I was 35, 36 years old when I was, um, you know, during the Afghan invasion in 2002. Um, and the war on terror began. I saw the loss of life of innocent Muslims, you know, on, on an industrial scale. And I felt very emotional, very sympathetic about that. I wanted to help innocent women and children. I wanted to alleviate their suffering. I wanted to do something. It's very easy for me to understand how an individual can get drawn into that. When I travelled abroad to help innocent women and children in Afghanistan, I didn't know who was fighting who. And actually, you know, you then begin to quickly realise that it's not really a jihad that you're getting involved with, you know. And you shouldn't really be there. Islamically, you start to ask your questions that, is this permissible, even? You know, if you're going to be fighting against another Muslim, as a Muslim, it's very important to realise that that's not permissible. It's actually very important to understand the facts, the realities, you know, and the Islamic ruling of when you're going to go and do something like that. We are instructed to make sure that the information that we are given, the knowledge we seek is the right information, is the right knowledge. And act in accordance to the Quran and the Sunnah. And you can't go astray because going out there is not a walk in the park. And you're not necessarily going to be helping people. I believe that you can do a lot more from over here. But make sure that you're doing the right thing because making a mistake means that you have now lost your life or you have just gone and been arrested and you can't do anything for people out there but doing it from here you can make sure that that's longer term i can send a bag of flour every day or every month every week from here and i can sustain that over the next five or ten years how many families would i be feeding how many mouths would be fed how many lives would i save and you can see the results of that you know, and you will get rewarded for that. And that's just plain and simple, really. If I could make my decision again in 2002, I would not go to Afghanistan. I would sit here and I would go up and down the country with hat in hand, collecting as much money, as much donations as possible, finding out who the right people are that are providing that aid and, s and support to the innocent women and children, making sure that they are credible, making sure that they are being fed with their right hand, that the money that's gone out there has been used properly, I would do that, and I would do that on a daily basis.